Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Alyssa and this is my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a my monthly goals checkup and review type thing and then I will go into this month and next month's goals. Um, I started doing this after watching Jenna Marassi and as well as why am I blanking on her name? She's a writer on YouTube as well. After I watched her and Jenna Marossi, I decided to start doing this because they, the one that does my monthly goals does those, and then Jenna Marossi does tri-monthly goals, but I thought I would just do the bi-monthly. Um, I, I didn't, I kind of failed, so I'm going to share that failure with you guys because it happens. Um, anyways, my writing goals, I'll just go over and explain them with you. Um, I wrote them all in my Gryffindor journal that I was using, but I finished even though it has like that much paper because it's kind of bulky, so I switched to another one. Um, anyways, the first goal that I was planning to do was start outlining Zamora and finish outlining plots and characters. So, I have started outlining, well, no, I didn't do any outlining for this, but I have started the fifth draft and I'm on page 40 right now. I'm handwriting it as well, so it's going to take longer, but I am doing Camp NaNoWriMo this month, so I'm hoping I can just get a huge chunk of it done, and I'm counting I'm keeping count by page on their site and not by words because words puts a lot more pressure on me, I guess. And yeah, so I've never outlined this novel. It's just been all in here and it's kind of an out of luck thing with this book. And I have done character boards on my Pinterest. Um, I'll see if I can leave a link down below if you want to go look at that. Um, I just have like an actor and then like the type of clothes that they would wear. It is in me medieval times so I have like medieval times clothing in there and it's been really fun doing that and I've also done that for my book of chains don't buy me which I'll get into that later on. Um, Number three, or number two, is start writing draft five, which I have already started writing that, like I said, four pages in. So, I'm working on that one, get in there. And number three on my writing goals is finished, finished surreal story in my book, Your Change Don't Find Me, which is now going to be a duology. Um, because I decided to make it a duology, it's two books in or four books it was four books in one series or in one whole book but i recently just changed it to two books so the entire thing together is called your chains don't bind me sorry else story is called shattered and then my second main character story is called redeemed i think and they kind of, they go hand in hand. And their children's stories, which are told from each of their points of view, um, is both called 613. And maybe if I plan on doing a All About Me, no All About My Novel video, I'll explain more about the 613. Um, it's kind of a special number for a reason. Um, yeah. And number four is write in my journal every week, which I have been doing that so much. Like last month, I did so much writing. I don't know if I did as much in May. Let's see. Did I do most of this in May? I think I did most of what's in here in May. I don't have dates on anything. And most of it was just songs when I started to really write in my journal. Um, 
yeah, so most of it was just songs, and that's kind of what kick-started me writing in my journal every week at least, and I have been working in the journal that I've been making um, Journal With Me videos on, and yeah, so I have been writing in my journal. That one is accomplished, even to this day. I did not do it yesterday because, again, I was busy and just ended up forgetting. Um, but tonight I'm going to do it for today. And then I'll move on. Um, the fifth one that I had is read up to four books between both months. I did not do that. I failed. <laughs> failed that one. Um, I am working on reading more happy than not. I'm taking a break from fantasy. And I feel since summer has arisen. Has arisen? Arisen? Has come since summer has come, um, I have gotten more into the mood for a contemporary novel. Com wow, I cannot speak right now. I apologize. Apparently, I can't speak right now. Um, I'm working on reading more happy than not. I forget what chapter I'm on, but I'm really loving it. And I'm thinking... When I go to Barnes and Noble sometime this week, I'm going to get History is All You Left Me. And yeah, that's my, those are both by Adam Samara. I also got More Happy Than Not from the library, along with your uh, Looking for Alaska by John Green. And this is where it ends. I think it's This is Where It Ends. I have it over there. I'm going to shine this light over here because it's getting darker and I only have one fan light on. Anyways, um, number six is update my website. I kind of did this. I kind of working on this a lot more. Um, there's sometimes I get in such an inspirational mood for an entire week and I'll just be uploading videos and um, blog posts all throughout the week so I think I accomplished that goal um, between May and June so I'm gonna say that's a that's a that's a win for me um number seven is finish outlining Nathaniel story no I did not do that one Nathaniel is the second main character in my novel your change don't find me or the find up thing. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, I have written three scenes. Okay, the thing with this story is it's the same story for each person, but it's told from different points of view and they do have their own, like, journeys that they're going on. It's one, it's a lot different from anything that I've written before, and I have outlined Suriel's story. Um, I just haven't worked on Nathaniel's. I have like four, five, maybe six scenes. Then again, it's also the same story, but just his perspective. And they are, they're not together the entire time. They are separated. So, no, I did not outline his story. Yeah. Uh, the last one for my writing goals is post a video at least once a week on both channels. I'm trying to get better at this. I don't know if I'm going to be posting on my booktube channel anytime soon, which I should probably post a video about that. Um, I have been trying a lot more with this channel, and since I've kind of found the groove that I'm going for, or going with, with writing videos and as well as journaling videos um and in writing i mean talking about my own writing and maybe sometimes some topics that i really enjoy um i'm trying to think of notes to add to my um video that i'm going to do about dialogue about writing dialogue because that's one of my favorite things to write so that will be coming sometime soon. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And that was the last one for my writing goals and 
May and June. Now for this month and next month, which by the way, happy 4th of July if you're in America. I love 4th of July and this is when I first started writing Zamora, by the way. Um, I don't think I had this binder right when I started writing it. Yes, it's Louie from One Direction um, from their office staple line. Uh, but yeah, there's the very first page. Actually, that's the very first page. Written in purple pen, sparkly pens, which is actually the One Direction pen set. Um, so it is the nine year anniversary for this story because I started writing it right when we got home. And then here's my uh, printed copy of the fourth draft and I have the fifth draft somewhere over there. So just kind of wanted to point that out. Plus I'm planning on pretty much my main goal for this month is to continue writing Zamora and get a huge chunk of that done. That's my main goal um, for this month as well as work more on, not necessarily get done, but work more on Surreal's story and your chains don't mind me so that I can go on to Nathaniel's because I'm really excited to write his. Uh, his is pretty much all set in the underworld, mostly. Actually, no, it's pretty much set in the underworld and it's kind of like a chase for time and oh, I just came up with something. See, sometimes you guys get to see and I, I don't know. Um, I just came up with something for that. So, that's cool. I am really excited to continue working on it. Your Chains Don't Mind Me, but I want to get more done in Zamora, and that is what I'm doing, or that's why I'm doing Camp NaNoWriMo, although I have kind of changed, I did change it at one point, like yesterday, um, to Your Chains Don't Mind Me, because I've been really feeling that, but I need to go to the place that is in my book that I'm basing the next six few scenes on, um, which is the Minimal Mansion in Chico, and I also need to go to whatever hotel that we're going at in Seattle, so <sighs> I pretty much can only write this little bit at a time throughout July and August, so that's kind of going to be spread out a bit there, and I'm guessing now that my two main goals for next month are get a huge chunk of Zamora down and then also kind of dabble more into Suriel's story and outline, if I can, Nathaniel's story. I'm only giving myself three goals so that I don't overwhelm myself and that is my video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. And I need to plan more videos. I don't know how many videos I'm going to actually be filming or planning this month because I really want to focus on Zamora. So that's just a um, clarification. Like, I don't know. I'm losing words today. Losing words. I don't know. Um, anyways, that is my bi-monthly goals video. I am going to work more on Zamora and Sariel and Nathaniel. All in one. Hopefully I can get Sariel's done, but I need to go to those two places. And I'm going to one of them. I'm going to the Minimal Mansion this weekend, so hopefully that will help me more because I can't I've been there a few times, but that was when I was a kid, and so I don't remember. I kind of remember, but not really the layout of the house. I don't know, it's kind of fuzzy. But I'm really excited, however, and I will give you guys an update at the end of August, because it's my monthly um, goals. So, yeah, I will see you at the end of August with, well... I'll see you before then. I'm just going to stop talking. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.